Hello and welcome to Fun with Networks or something like that. I'm Adrian Kennard and I'm going to show you how to make a patch lead, a network patch lead. You're going to need some cable, not that one, that's infrastructure. You're going to need some flex and you're going to need a plug and you're going to need a proper crimp tool and I recommend a good cable tester. So let's get started. There are various different sorts of cable you can get. This is an example of infrastructure cable. Unscreened twisted pair, Cat5E, enhanced Cat5, four pair, 24AWG. This is infrastructure cable because it is solid cores in the cable and this is much harder to work with. This is not what you put plugs on the end of. You can get plugs designed to go on the end of infrastructure cable. They're slightly different in the way they work so they, they clip around the cable rather than pushing into it. Um, it's grey because usually it goes in the walls. It can be other colours, but usually it's just plain grey and you get it in big reels to wire up infrastructure. You can get cable like this. This is actually infrastructure cable, but it's CAT6. The main difference is this cross piece in the middle and the pairs are much more tightly twisted. You can see, even in this cable, that between the different colours of pairs, the twists are different. This is deliberate. It's the same in the CAT5, although it's not as twisted and that's to stop them interfering with each other. This is CAT6, and you probably don't need that. CAT5E will do gigabit and 100 meters. But if you've got CAT6, the principle is much the same. What we're using today is flex. And this is flex, and you can tell it's flex because the wires are actually stranded. You never need to strip them back like this, but you can see they're stranded, okay? So that's the flex. So I have my flex, and I've stripped quite a lot back. With the cable strippers we've got, you can actually just strip exactly the right amount to go in the plug. But then it's quite fiddly. So I've stripped them back a long way as you can see, and they're all different pairs, and you've got uh, different colours, orange, blue, brown, green in this case, and that's the standard colours. And each of these are a pair. You'll see there's a solid orange wire and a white wire with orange marks on it. So it's orange and white, blue and white, green and white, brown and white. And we need to put them in the right order. So we're going to start with the orange. You put the white that goes with the orange and then the orange. And then the green, which we can unravel a bit here. And we take the white that goes with the green. But, rather confusingly, it isn't the green that's next. It's actually the blue. And the blue pair goes in the middle. So instead of putting green next, you go blue. And then the white that goes with the blue. Then you do the green. And then finally, you have the white that goes with the brown and the brown. And this gives you all eight wires, and you try and get them nice and neat and straight and flat like that. Then, you want to cut off just enough so that you can crimp the screen here. So you just cut it off neatly and nice and square across all the four wires, four pairs of wires. And you push that into the plug. Like that. And the screen in. And you want to make sure all the wires have gone right to the end. The easiest way to do that is actually look at the back and you can see they're all in there. And it's white colour, white colour, white colour, white colour. You then get your crimp tool and you plug it into the crimp tool. And it just crimps in. Make sure it's pushed in nicely. Crimp it solidly like that. And then, if you've got a cable tester, which I would strongly recommend, this is a good cable tester, you can plug it into your cable tester and you will see that I've screwed up the crimp. No, I haven't. Good. You will see that all eight wires are connected. And there's your first patch lead. And now you've made your first network patch lead, you obviously need to do the other end, and you can cable test end to end. And that will be good for a gigabit, uh, or 100 meg, or 10 meg, and will work up to 100 meters of cable length, just using Cat5e. Really wasn't hard, was it? 